Let's dive into the second alignment property we will be learning, which is the align items property. Align items defines the default behavior for laying out flex items along the container's cross axis. It works similarly to justify content, but in the perpendicular direction. Again, let's understand with the UI how the different values work. Once again, we are going to work with only three boxes. First, let's add align items to the container styles. By default, the value of align items is set to stretch. This means the flex items will stretch the entire length of the cross axis, which typically flows from left to right. If I set the same property value explicitly, you can see that there is no visible change since stretch is the default value. Each box stretches from the left to the right, which is the direction of the cross axis. The second value we can specify is flex start. This pushes all the items to the start of the cross axis. Similarly, we have flex end as the third possible value, which pushes the items to the end of the cross axis. Moving on, the fourth value is center, which centers the content along the cross axis. Lastly, I want to discuss the baseline value. This value might be rarely used, but understanding it is still beneficial. Think of the baseline as the line upon which most letters sit in a word like Sphinx. Relating this to Flexbox, the baseline value will align flex items based on their contents baseline. You can see the content in each of these flex items sit on the same baseline. To visualize this in React Native, I will slightly modify the styles. I'll change flex direction to row and set padding vertical to 100 on the first item. When I save the file, you can see that the text inside each item is aligned. It does not matter how tall or what the padding is in each of these flex items. They are positioned in a way that ensures the text content sits on the same baseline. In summary, the align items property is used to align items. The alignment always takes place along the cross axis. The possible values are flex start, flex end, center, baseline, and stretch, which is the default value. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.